By the time you see this video, we will be about 30 minutes away from the official start of free agency. And there's some in-house business that the Detroit Lions have yet to take care of. Now, we lost Jonah Jackson to the L.A. Rams. C.J. Gardner-Johnson went back to Philly. And we brought back Glam Graham Glasgow. And we have one other person that I'm a bit curious to know what is going to happen. And that is wide receiver Josh Reynolds. Now, I've heard and been told that he is planning to return. And to be honest with you, it would be weird if he didn't because he spent all but seven games of his NFL career playing with quarterback Jared Goff. So to have someone else throwing him the football is going to be kind of weird. And there's been some reports coming out earlier in the offseason that the Baltimore Ravens could be a perfect landing spot for a guy like Josh Reynolds. So I'm not sure if he's going to come back yet. But as an insurance policy for if Josh Reynolds was to leave, there's a guy who was just released about an hour ago. And I made a video about this, and y'all didn't want to hear it. But it's the truth. The truth is that Brad Holmes has a particular mode. He has a particular type of player that he goes after. And you got to have grit. You got to have all that stuff. But it seems more often than not, you have to be injured. And you can tell from my demeanor that I'm serious, that I'm, I'm dead serious. And I think if you look deep inside, you have to, you, you can't deny that either, right? So we brought back a guy in Emmanuel Mosley that literally had an ACL, he had two ACL tears in just as many years. So bringing a guy like that back, there is no one that is off the table for Brad Holmes if you've been injured. And he traded up for Jamison Williams. He brought in Levi Anwuzarike, who already had problems in college. He brought in Josh Pascal, who already had problems in college. That's what he does. So it's funny that I get, you know, you guys are mad at me because I'm telling you what the truth is. And that is the truth. So with that being said, a guy that I made a video about earlier, this offseason, coming from Ian Rappaport, says the Chargers releasing Mike Williams, making him a free agent. Williams on the books for $32 million cap hit becomes a top free agent wide receiver available. Now, Mike Williams tore his ACL Achilles. It was one of those he tore in, I want to say, September. It was early in the season when he tore, got that injury. I can't remember which one it is. But this got me to thinking with the delay of the Josh Reynolds new contract and the availability of Mike Williams, coupled with the fact that Brad Holmes likes to go for injured players with something to prove. I wouldn't be surprised if Josh Reynolds does not return that Mike Williams is a target for the Detroit Lions. With the lack of wide receiver that we have, we have the guy under uh, a futures contract. I can't remember his name. We also have under contract. We have um, St. Brown, Jamison Williams, Antoine Green, Khalif Raymond. We also have the matter of Donovan Peoples-Jones, who could return as well. So I'm not sure what the Detroit Lions are going to do. Is Josh Reynolds going to return? If so, I think it's between him and DPJ. But I think how if if even if we brought back one of those guys, I still think Mike Williams could be in play because you're talking about Khalif Raymond has kind of been relegated to that special teams punt guy, uh, but he can still be a big factor for the Detroit Lions. So Mike Williams, we went over his stats and all that stuff in a different video, but we could go over them again. Now, he was set to earn, according to Spot Track, he was set to earn this year, uh, he had a signing bonus of $7 million and a dead cap, I don't know where his, I think their dead cap is $32 million, but I don't know what his previous contract was because Spot Track updated immediately upon his him being cut. So let me just go here and see if I can pull up his stats very quickly because it would be good to get a refresher in those. I know Mike Williams, man, and I know we all have <laughs> somebody put it in the comment section when I initially made this video about having PTSD from receivers named Mike Williams. And I remember when we we drafted Mike Williams in the first round, I can't remember what draft it was, but it was the early 2010s, I believe it was, or in, in the 2010s. And Mike Williams, the one thing I remember about him if I'm not mistaken, it's been a long time. He played at USC, but I know the the year before he was drafted, he he missed the entire year. He was injured. He missed the entire year, and we still took him in the first round. 
And so I <laughs> completely understand. So before he got hurt, before he got hurt, of course, a first round pick in 2017, pick number seven, 29 years old. So he'll be turning 30 during the season, 6'4", 218. We discussed in the previous video, he is about six pounds heavier than Josh Reynolds, and he is one inch taller, if I'm not mistaken. Had 19 receptions, 249 yards, had the one touchdown before he got hurt. Let's look at what he did in the season as a refresher. He has played a full season only once in his career. If this was, I can't remember if this was the beginning of the 17 game season or was that 2022. So it could have been 2021. He can't, he, he can't, he played a full season and then 2020, 2018. But in the two years before, he only missed one game. So I wouldn't necessarily call him injury, injury prone. And then he missed three in 2022 and then obviously had the ACL in 2020. Uh, three. He had 2,000 yard seasons. The year before, right here, he he. This is right around that Josh Reynolds range. I don't think Josh has had this in his career, let alone with the Detroit Lions. I'm not sure. I have to go fact check that. But this this is a guy right here that could really fit in for the Detroit Lions. And the thing that pops out to me is out of those th the three receivers, the two that were on our team and Mike Williams, he is the biggest of all of them. He is the biggest receiver. I think, no, as a matter of fact, I think DPJ is 212 and Josh Reynolds is 190 something, if I'm not mistaken. So this guy would be, could be a big body receiver that we could get. So again, I'm not just, I don't just pull stuff out of a hat. A lot of the times there is logic by, in the videos that I make. And the logic with this is Mike Williams, who could be a solid receiver. Coming off of an injury, got cut by his previous team, probably won't cost a ton of money. And as of this moment, we're in the market for a wide receiver. Now, at the way that the pass rush has been addressed, I'm not sure if the Detroit Lions take a wide receiver in the first three rounds. We probably are going mostly defense. Right now, we don't have a guard on the other side of Frank Ragnow. So there are some holes on this team. And we gave up a third round pick to get. Carlton Davis, but we got a six round pick. So what is, you know, what do we have playing there? So again, I don't, I don't decide what Brad Holmes does. I just talk about it and I talk about the potential of what he could do. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Mike Williams would fit? Would you like him here? And this is all based on Josh Reynolds, not resigning, which as of three o'clock, an hour before the official start of the new league year, he has not re-signed with the Detroit Lions. If he does, this could be void or it could be an option for a sixth wide receiver. We will see. This channel is made possible by the viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.